you please uh, state your name and occupation? My name is Marty Schlaubach, and I'm a librarian at Mann Library at Cornell University. Do you use the Biodiversity Heritage Library in your work? Um, to a certain extent, I use it in assisting others um, to access, access the literature. And we are um, recently become members, so we anticipate contributing content to, to it and being an active participant. And what was your reason for coming to this particular conference? Um, since we just recently joined, it was our chance to um, meet more of the other partners in BHL, and, um, but also interested in the, the conference the last two days as well. Um, what would you like to see um, improved, added, or changed uh, by the Biodiversity Heritage Library um, as time goes on? Well, I think there's a, sort of a, almost an endless array of, of sort of enhancements that could be put into it and, and we think about um, all of the sort of additional connections that, that could be made uh, between it and other resources and uh, it's already incorporating some of the sort of social networking things, but there's, there's just additional linkages that, that, could, be, that could be made, uh, sort of enhancing the value of the content that's there. But also I'd like to see more and more uh, content in it so that the, the, the body of the literature that's there and accessible is be really neat if there would be a way to um, incorporate the commercial content that's in copyright now um, for those user communities that actually subscribe to that content. So there could be an integration between that older and the newer that we're getting from commercial publishers or societies or whatever, but there's in copyright so it can't be made freely available to the world. That could be integrated from the user's point of view. They don't really care about whether it's in copyright or not. They want it access, accessible. So there's some way of blending that together. Thank you.